there is a distinction between the ministry of a prophet and the gift of prophecy the fact that you can prophesy does not make you a prophet or a prophetess for one to stand in the office of a prophet he or she must of necessity first of all be a minister of the gospel so it means it must he or she must be called to the ministry must have a calling into the ministry can be either a teacher or a preacher and also in addition to that that individual must of necessity have operation in his or her life at least two of the revelation gifts the revelation gifts are the gifts of word of knowledge word of wisdom and designing of spirit that individual must possess two at least two plus the gift of prophecy in operation in his or her life on a continual basis not once in a while or a long while the lord told me about his call upon my life to be a prophet in 2003 that was when god told me he had called me to be a prophet and by 2004 by the grace of god the lord opened up the windows of revelation to me in an unusual manner that a dimension began that each time i call on him by his grace he answers me and speaks in visions most times you know immediately now even though that vista of revelation was opened up to me i was not set fully into the office of a prophet and i did not take the office of a prophet as a designation to my name for you to become a full-fledged prophet it takes about 14 years of training pruning breaking and molding before you can fully step into the office of a prophet if you look at the life of Samuel, for instance, Samuel was already called to be a prophet and all Israel knew. But he was never established as a prophet until after 14 years. The same thing with David. When David was anointed king, he was also anointed to be a prophet. He was about the age of 16. But never fully stepped into that ordination until he was about the age of 30. So there's a difference between being called, being anointed, and also being appointed. It takes time. It takes time. Now let's begin by looking at the scripture this morning. Acts chapter 2 verse 6 16 to 18 come sister i want to give you a word of prophecy from the lord just stand here stand lift up your hands to the lord oh jesus thank you thank you i see you bending down and trying to grind a pepper with a grinding stone hear you the word of the lord god is saying to you that you have been through circumstances and situations that have confined you to hardship to difficulties that have made life uneasy for you you have been through situations that had made things look as though they are not promising you are not going to break through there's no headway but the lord is saying to you today that the spirit of supplication is upon you that he has called you to be an intercessor the anointing of the holy ghost is upon you to bring forth the word of the lord in the place of prayer into a fulfillment you are an instrument of god an ambassador of god that will give heavenly approval 
that will give heavenly approval to heavenly intervention so that the purpose and plan of God can become fulfilled upon the face of the earth. And the Lord is saying that all you need to do is to press on, build your work with Him, get to know Him, and that you will begin to operate in this grace to pray, to intercede. And as you do so, the things that seem difficult, that seem impossible will become possible and resources will come to you and i see blenders around you you know grinding machines and the lord is saying that as he prospers you those things that you need that you're looking for will become available to you and i pray lord that that anointing to intercede will come mightily upon your daughter now let the spirit of grace the spirit of supplication come upon and mightily 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 just receive receive a fresh outpouring holy ghost feel our fresh feel our fresh oh the fountain of power the fountain of glory is upon you now just drink 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 afresh in the name of jesus just drink afresh let the fresh fire let the fresh fire let the fresh fire of the holy ghost come so strong mightily upon you mightily upon you. be anointed to pray be anointed to pray be anointed to pray in the name of jesus thank you lord jesus come brother let me give you a word of prophecy from the lord come oh jesus thank you thank you just stand here and lift up your hands oh jesus thank you jesus thank you i see you standing in the middle of a bridge and in that middle of the bridge you are looking into the waters and the bridge robes that are supposed to secure the bridge they are caught at that point and i hear god say that you are in a place of discouragement in fact right now the thoughts of suicide comes to your heart sometimes is that correct all right and the lord is saying that you are at that point of discouragement but ahead of you is your palace ahead of you is the prepared place ahead of you is the place of abundance and increase where you are coming from as i can see it is a place of challenges a place of lack a place of difficulties but in order for you to get to the palace that god has prepared for you you will need to fight battles i see forces standing on that bridge with sword trying to contain with you trying to oppose you but you will need to build your work with god you will need to arise and fight and get to the place that God has prepared for you and if you will be willing to fight by building your work with God getting to know God and stay in the place of fasting and prayer and seek God you will break through and come to the place of your wealth of abundance and there you will fulfill the purpose of God now that is the word of the Lord to you don't get discouraged there's no need to end it there's no need to throw in the toil or to give up there is wealth and abundance awaiting you at the end of that bridge god has not called you to cease at the middle of the bridge you must build your work with god get to know him and press on lord i pray for the grace that anointing to press on to press on to press on to the place you are prepared for him release upon him now oh let it come so strong holy ghost let your fresh fire your fresh power come upon him afresh 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 anoint him lord anoint him lord use him for your glory and help him in the name of jesus we rebuke the spirit of death every thought of suicide i rebuke it discouragement i rebuke it receive encouragement in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name we are praying amen you may go back god bless you i hear the lord say the wind of his presence the wind of his presence now that is the season that you are coming into your intuition your intuition is being activated now you will begin to perceive the presence of god 
you begin to perceive, bring out, you begin to perceive the power of God. You begin to flow and bask in the glory of the Lord. God is bringing you into an atmosphere of His presence. And through His presence, you will minister in songs. You will minister healing, encouragement, and comfort to others. There are things that you have gone through over the years. The season that God will use those experiences and those challenges that you have gone through to touch and impact the life of all that have come. And because of that, the power and the presence of God is coming upon you mightily till they are fresh so strong this moment and God will begin to put the words in your mouth and give you the needed encouragement and boldness to bring life, to bring joy, to bring comfort, to bring exhortation and to bring edification to others from this season in the name of Jesus. Praise our place. Jesus let your Holy Spirit come afresh upon her. Mighty, mighty. Let it come afresh, mighty. That she would know for certain that your presence and power is upon her. And out of this overflow of your presence and power, let her begin to minister and impact others. Oh, receive a fresh, fresh outpouring. And I rebuke every unclean spirit trying to hinder the purpose of God in your life. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You are free. You are free. You begin to enjoy the presence and power of God in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. We give you praise. We give.